Hello, Graham Roberts here. Now this is going to be a series of tutorials looking at local storage and the methods associated with that object and some helper behaviours that we can exploit. Because there are so many of them and it takes quite a while to explain them, I'm going to spend really just about five minutes on each of them. So all together there could be about 30 minutes. But you can select which of the videos you want to look at because, well, not all of the um, local storage methods are as important or useful as each other, particularly if you have a particular brief that you need to actually achieve. So in this first video, I'm going to be just looking at the HTML and the table that has produced the rendered page that we see here. I'm using a system called Replit um, just because it helps for this tutorial. Uh, you too can join that system if you want. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is the um, screen and on the left hand side the code. We'd be looking at the JavaScript as well and we'd also be looking in due course at the web development screen to look at the local storage in the application. So we're going to do quite a lot together, hopefully usefully. Let's have a quick look at how this is working. Right, so if I um, do a refresh, because um, I can't even remember what state this is in, I'll just run this. Um, if I ask the test, if I do the test, click A, then what will happen is that we get some output down here. And if I do the loop, uh, loop around everything that's in local storage, you should find that there really um, isn't much in there because we haven't put it in. So we can see some stuff that has been there from the previous time I ran this because I haven't cleared it. If I clear it by clicking down here and doing that again, um, sorry, I meant to do B, and you can see it's gone. Okay, you get the idea. Right, so let's look at the set item. I can set the first planet is Mercury. I can set the planets of the solar system and their relative distance from the Sun. I can get a particular item. Yeah, we've got Mars from that solar system uh, object. And we can remove items. Uh, in this case, we're going to remove just the first item. The first planet's removed. If we go back and have a look again at what's there, we should find that uh, the first planet is not there anymore as um, a standalone entry. We can clear everything as we've seen, and we can also use the pass a number to the key as an index, and it will tell us what we found. Now, in this case, the first one is solar system uh, because we took away the original first one, which was the first planet Mercury. Okay, a lot to understand in a short time, I think. But if we now look at the code we generated on the right hand side, we see the HTML is pretty standard. We've got um, the um, table construction and Behind the scenes we have some CSS making that look the way it does, but that's not important for now. And we've got the um, rows uh, which have a heading, in this case, remove item, which we see here. And we can see the next cell or definition, table definitions there. And then in the third column, we have a button, very, very simple idea, that takes us, when it's clicked, to an on-click handler called function uh, f. Okay, now we need to look at the script. Um, but, oh, sorry, before we go back to the script, um, let's look at, uh, down here, there's the horizontal rule. Um, we have a paragraph with an ID display. 
So we'll be able to put into that gap the uh, using the inner HTML uh, property of that element that we will be able to put into there um, the output that we see uh, like this output here. Right. Now we're going to look at the scripts. I'm not going to go in detail um, into detail on these scripts at this time. Um, but just to show you that there are a number of functions A, B, C, and D, and E, uh, and uh, F, and G, and H. So, for instance, A will match up with the test for local storage in the browser where it just looks at the browser. And if it doesn't have storage defined, it will tell us uh, by outputting your browser does not have local storage. So that's a little test one can do in order to um, avoid time wasting with a, uh, with a browser that doesn't actually um, enable you to exploit or use the local storage. Okay, so that's the introduction to this and we're going to end it there. I'll see you in LS2.